Hey guys, welcome back to another week of Mortgage Matters in Minutes. I'm your host, Brent Rasmussen, owner of Mortgage Specialists. Thank you for tuning in for all these different times. We're on nearly our 130th episode, and uh, we appreciate you all checking in, uh, watching our live videos, checking out our YouTube shorts, and our full five to seven minute Mortgage Matters in Minutes. And our goal has always been to get to the point, answer your questions, and uh, hopefully get you educated if you're looking at buying a home, selling a home, refinancing, uh, or any kind of questions dealing with the mortgage industry. So today we're gonna talk about a formula that we made up. <laughs> but uh, as any of the internet should mention, you know, catchy phrases uh, work for uh, individuals checking out. But while this formula isn't exact, it is definitely something that we can chat about. Supply plus demand equals home appreciation. We've talked a lot about uh, what the markets have done, underwriting guidelines, steps to get your offer accepted, and we'll continue those. But what we're continually seeing is even though rates have risen and you know, while I'm doing this video, APR of rates are generally around 7%, most would assume by basic economics that as rates increase, home values should decrease, but we're not seeing that happening. We're seeing home appreciation, highest that we've ever seen here in the Omaha area, and they continue to rise each and every year. And why is that? For many different reasons. And we'll talk about the supply and the demand right now. So supply is very, very low. Demand is very, very high. So when we have those two things happening, yes, low supply, high demand equals home appreciation because in order to obtain a home, you have to possibly bid more than what it's asking uh, for of the offer of the seller. So first let's talk about supply. Supply is just as much housing that's available for you to access, to buy, to uh, own, to get access to. And supply could have many different features with how many new constructed homes are out there, how many people are listing their homes for sale, all of the above. Where demand is, how many individuals want houses at this point in time. And we're seeing the demand as we normally do in the summer months, that demand increases because people wanna move during the nice weather days around school times and also just cyclical. You know, if you remember as a child, you always started school in August and we're done sometime in May. And that continues on when you go to college and when you get your first job and continues on and on and on in life that over the summer months, many people move. So. Demand always is going to increase uh, as time goes on during the summer months. But as we chatted about, if we have low supply, high demand, there's a very high need for housing. If we look back in 2008, we had a very high supply and a low demand because people were unsure what their jobs were going to be, what the economy was doing, uh, how they're able to you know, make their bills happen. So what we've seen here is kind of a phenomenon in that the fact of when interest rates rise, home values may not come down here in the Omaha area. And Omaha has always been very immune to, you know, financial crises uh, opposite of California or Florida or New York, where you see massive spikes of up and down. Here in Omaha, generally, we're pretty steady eddy. And that's a good thing and why a lot of people like to live uh, here in the Midwest. What I can share with you and why we're talking about this is that People are, have been and are waiting for home prices to come down, and we don't see that happening. Uh, a lot of this comes down to, obviously, uh, a very aging population that's living much longer. So people are using their home much into their 70s, 80s, and 90s, where 10, 20, 30 years ago, life expectancies weren't that long, and it wasn't happening. So we have a massive influx of individuals, i.e. baby boomers, aging, retiring, but continuing to live in their home. And there's just not enough properties that we can create or the market can create to fill the demand that's needed. Meaning we see millennials and Gen X's coming out of school and turning 19 years of age, wanting to buy homes. And there's just not enough affordable homes out there. So I see a lot of clients right now putting in offers and asking for things and not getting their offer accepted. While that might be a still a great decision for you and your family, I can suggest and tell you from what we're seeing is values keep getting more and more expensive. So even if you are asking for certain things along the way, 
you might be losing out in the long run because home values and home prices continue to rise. Hopefully here now the uh, Fed is talking about not increasing interest rates. We might see rates starting to cool here in May of 2024 and hopefully rates start to come back down. But as we've always talked and always shared as rates come down, there's gonna be then more demand because people can afford more and they can buy into more of a house. So what can we do to solve any of these problems? No one really has a solution at this point in time. Not many can create homes fast enough for the demand that's needed. Um, there's not enough supply that's being created. And now we've had a tornado in this area that's going to demolish many properties and is gonna take up wood and steel and metal for other projects that are going on as well, which will eventually drive up costs. And as costs increase, generally values increase. So supply plus demand equals appreciation. We've all enjoyed huge appreciation, those of us that have owned property. Similar to when we advise clients or people advise you like financial advisors to invest, you don't only invest in a good market or a bad market, you invest consistently and equally over time because you're gonna have ups and downs. And that's what I'm suggesting today is that home appreciation is going to continue to rise. And until you get in as an owner of a property, that home appreciation is gonna rise with or without you. And it might as well be with you and not without you. So if there are any tendencies of uh, explanations. We're really just like to educate the buyers of the community. Sellers, obviously, you have a lot of control. So if you have a property to sell and want to buy another one, there are different avenues that you can go through to make it happen. I see a lot uh, of bad advice given out there among um, all kinds of individuals, friends, family, um, other people in the real estate industry that you know, might be telling people to do something certain way or not. But with the market that we're in, understanding the market that you're in and making the decision, the best decision for you and your family. Again, I'm Brent Rasmussen, owner of Mortgage Specialists. We're here anytime, just a phone call away at 402-991-5153. Or you can check us out on our website at mtg-specialist.com. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe here below. We'd love to see you next time uh, and have a great rest of your week. Mortgage Specialists. Driven. Trusted. Reliable.